Hi, how are you doing? I am sick, so please don't mind the mess I am in and the crazy voice I have. Um, I wanted to do a video this week and it's my 100th video. Woo! I get to do it while I'm sick, so please bear with me. Today I'm going to be talking about a book called Hope. It's a memoir by Amanda Berry and Jeannie, or Gina Hazu, De, De Zeus, De he, De Jesus. I hope I'm saying that right. So this is actually a survival memoir of these girls in Cleveland. And if you don't know, there was another girl that was also held captive by this man called Ariel Castro uh, for 10 years, for a whole decade. Now, Michelle was captured first. She is not in this book. She actually wrote, like, she's in this book, but her own memoir, she actually wrote her own book by herself because she was being held captive longer than these two, and Amanda and Gina did this book together. So, Ariel Castrol, he was actually a bus driver for the school system, and how he got these girls to come with him to his house, he would actually tell them, like, oh, you know my daughter, you're friends with her, she's at my house, why don't you come over and uh, talk to her and hang out with her. He did that with Gina. Or and he would tell them, like, my dog just had puppies, do you want to come and see, see my dog and her puppies, you know, yada yada. Amanda was captured before Gina was, and both of these girls, they talk about their survival, also kind of their not necessarily technique but how they try to like Amanda tries really hard to make sure she manipulates Ariel as much as possible because she wants to stay alive and survive and that's I think very smart of her to do this book also talks about all the abuse they went through there's rape in here there's assault there's physical abuse there's mental abuse Amanda actually gets pregnant by Ariel while she's in, held in captivity and um, has this baby and Ariel actually makes Michelle deliver it because Michelle had had a baby previously before so it talks about all of their experiences in there Ariel had people come over and he had them like locked up in their rooms and they told he basically told them that if they made a sound he would kill them or he would he hid them in his car for a while when it was like 100 degrees outside, he's hid them in the basement and they've, their whole lives that they're there, that they're held in captivity, they are chained up every day with these giant chains and they get like sores on their ankles or on their hips or wherever the chain is because it rubs up against it and it causes these sores and bruises. It's terrible. So it talks, like I said, about their timing, how they got captured talks about how they got captured, their time in captivity, and then eventually when they got released, and then a little bit after they got released, and how they, they're coping, and how they're doing in the present when they wrote this book. This is a very good book. I'm hoping I can kind of zoom in and show you guys at least the cover. Like I said, the name of the book is Hope. Oh my goodness, why? The name of the book is Hope, and it is written by Amanda and Gina and then it looks like there's help with um, the writing by Mary Jordan and Kevin Sullivan. I don't know who those people are but it is a fantastic book. I listened to it on Audible. It's how I listened to the how I read or listened to it um, but I think just like the other book I mentioned the other week I think it's a good a good story on how people survive and how they make it through what they do mentally to survive or techniques they use which I find uh, interesting and inspiring in a way so if you have some spare time and you're kind of interested in true crimes or thrillers or memoirs this would be a really good book for you to pick up and uh, have a listen to uh, thank you for watching Sorry, I don't sound very good, and then this was not a very good book review. I am going to try and order a light in a stand, so that way my lighting is better, and 
hopefully maybe the camera angle will be better too so I'm not just like propping my phone up against whatever I can to take video but I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and you're not sick like me thank you bye have a good day